And here we go with the final seconds of launch. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, engine ignition. And lift off, lift off of Falcon Heavy and Psyche on a mission to a metal asteroid in deep space to study the building blocks of our planet's inner space. Vehicles pitching down range. M1D chamber pressure is nominal. for all 27 engines. Okay, all supersonic. Chamber, all chamber pressures look good and Falcon is supersonic now. Throttling down in preparation for max Q. Peak mechanical stress on the rocket. What will happen here max is Q. the side boosters will uh, be at full power and the center core will be at a reduced power to go through max Q to reduce the pressures on the structure of the launch vehicle. Coming up in 30 seconds. Start getting ready to have those boosters cut off. Vehicle's looking good, pitching down range. All telemetry looks really good so far, Daryl. So we see a beautiful view of uh, the Falcon Heavy and uh, center core and side boosters there. Data is looking really good. All 27 engines of the Falcon Heavy putting down 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Standing by now for booster engine cutoff for those side boosters. The center core booster will continue on. Booster engine cutoff. Side booster separation confirmed. Great shot there, the side boosters Back coming off the rocket. And back engine chill has started. And there we start the chill on stage two as we get ready for uh, Miko on the center core. Stage, stage two will continue uh, chilling down, making sure the fuel and propellants are flowing through that MVAC, getting ready for ignition. There we see a shot inside. Back shot down. There was, that was a in, uh, shutdown. Looking Main engine cut off. The booster. There you have Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And there it goes. You're looking at the second stage in front of you, lighting up inside that engine. Split screen now on your right hand Excellent side. Center core oh. FTS is saved. Bermuda. Calling out the communication stations. What a beautiful shot there while we had it, of stage two. Darrell, we continue to look at the side boosters. Bearing separation boost confirmed. Boost back uh, has been completed and they're an extended coast right now. And there go the fairings. Revealing Psyche to the atmosphere. You can see the fairing falling away back to Earth. SpaceX has their recovery vessel. The is on a normal trajectory. Their recovery vessel, Bob, is out in the waters right now looking to recover both of them. Entry burn getting ready to go on the side boosters. Boosters entry burn shut down. And there we saw the booster entry burn on one and shut down. And there we see booster entry burn on the second side booster and shut down. Next burn is the final landing burn. And for PY, folks, NY, FTS is saved. And for folks who are in the area, you end up hearing that loud sonic boom, that thunderclap just about the time they make land. Stage two is on a nominal trajectory.
You and I here at Hangar AE, just a couple of miles away from this landing zone, we certainly hear it and feel it. Yep, and I see now that the booster, side boosters are supersonic, transitioning to transonic. That's a shot of the booster through a thin layer of clouds. You hear the call out for transonic. Started. Here it comes. I don't know, Daryl, but that uh, that sonic boom was great for us. I'm sure Jim is excited over there. There's the second one. I'm sure the host desk over there is feeling that really well. Literally, our monitors were shaking as yep. those both those boosters broke the sound barrier. We just heard booster landing confirmed, as we see on the screen, both the uh, landing down. zone one and two, everything looks great. And then the call out for Seco one, stage two engine cutoff. So Daryl, this will put us into that 45 minute coast that you and Jarmaine were talking about, allowing us to uh, do now that parking park roll. Insertion. Absolutely, we're looking forward to that. And as you look at your screen there, there are the two side boosters on their landing pads, coming down more staggered than I'd seen them before, but nonetheless, perfect landings for them both. And now we will continue to track this right here, the second stage of the Falcon Heavy, along with the Psyche spacecraft right there looking forward. You can see the spacecraft on the right-hand side. It will be coasting now for about 45 minutes. And when we come back, we will bring you the moment of separation. In the meantime... We'll okay, we've been following along with the Falcon Heavy second stage as it continues its journey out with Psyche. Let's bring back NASA's Daryl Nail and Nick Wilson for the next operational milestones in this mission. Guys, go ahead. Yeah, there you just heard it, and you can see it. The engine start for the second time on the second stage of the Falcon Heavy rocket, now flying through space close to the country of Australia, and you can see it there. We've been tracking it all along, watching the fuel get prepped and prepared to restart that engine. Make this burn roughly about two minutes and nine seconds. Yeah, this burn's very important to get Psyche on its way. And Daryl, as you said, we've been tracking that. And as, as throughout that 45 minute coast phase, there have been call outs for different ground stations that have been used around the United States or around the world, actually, um, to track this second stage. And you and I have been continuing to watch that telemetry. And this uh, vehicle so far has performed very well. Uh, So the burn about to come to an end here in just a few seconds. And back shut down. There you hear the good call out of the MVAC shutdown, still glowing red though in the cold darkness of space. We are in orbital night on the other side of the planet from where we launched this morning. Nominal off. payload deploy, orbit insertion. Confirming the orbital insertion there. Psyche payload separation confirmed. There it is. The Psyche spacecraft going off into deep space. That is 2.2 billion mile journey. Yeah, I'm going to tell you that is an amazing shot right there. And is so I'm so excited to see that. Probably not as excited as Jim, who's at the host desk right now, but uh, that is an awesome shot to see Psyche leaving uh, the stage two. Megan, we've been flying for one hour and eight minutes now through space, and there you see, I believe we have yep, I see a the, signal. Yep, I see the spike right there, the low carrier signal and the JPL team clapping. Uh, looks like that little spike in the center right there is the low carrier signal that they're looking for. So that is good news uh, that we've received that carrier signal and the team will begin their work. And what you're looking at there in the lower left-hand corner of your screen is the receiving station for JPL. And they got that carrier signal, which came off of Psyche's low gain antenna. It sent out that signal. There's not a lot to that signal. There's no data, no telemetry, just a basic signal that says, hey, I'm here, I'm out in space. Yes, basically, as Jim said, phones home, lets them know where they are, that they can start working uh, to, to get their stuff set up and start uh, acquiring data later on and beginning that next 100 days of operations that they need to do. So, you know, very excited.